Hi, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit urbanites about a, a special type of basil. We sell literally 15, 20 different types of basils at Herbfest. But this one right here is called African Blue Basil. Now this basil is going to be treated totally contrary to what you're used to doing with like an Italian basil, or what they call a Genovese basil, flat leaf basil. That's what you use mozzarella. Uh, mozzarella, cheese, tomato, put your basil on, put some extra virgin olive oil. That's your typical basil. This is an edible basil too. However, it's a little bit stronger. They use African blue. You can put it in a salad because of that color. That's what adds to it. Plus you got a basil taste within your salad itself. You can cook with it. Again, it's a little more intense than your standard Italian or Genovese basil. But the interesting thing about this, and this is what I learned this year at the Herb Fest, which is literally about our 20th, and I did not know this until someone pointed it out to me this year. Most of the time when you look at a regular Italian basil, you will be told to deadhead it. That simply means you break off the top because it's trying to go to seed and you want to prolong its life so you can keep eating the leaves. The African blue basil is literally propagated from cuttings. These are not going to seed. They're just going to flower. So you let this grow. You can see what it adds to the overall visual of the plant and it can add to your garden. But just a little tip so you know it. If you wanted to propagate this, don't deadhead it. That adds to the beauty. That's also edible. Those flowers are edible. They're very nice. You would ask them, well, this is too much, but you would take a leaf, Boom, break it off, put it in potting soil. That's how you propagate it. That's why you don't worry about it going to seed because it's not going to seed. It's propagated by cuttings. That's African blue basil.